represent about more than 1,500 people from San Clemente in a group that my wife and I started called San Clemente Green. And we did not start out as an anti-nuclear group. We were trying to create a sustainability action plan like probably several of your cities have done or will be doing. And in the process, we were approached by people who work at the San Onofre Power Plant to tell us about concerns they had. And uh, that brought us into this whole issue back in uh, at the end of 2010. And one of the first people to speak to us was concerning the steam generator issue, saying that they've been taking shortcuts and not doing proper testing. And lo and behold, here we are looking back on it, thinking we wished we could have gotten people to listen to us. So that's why I'm here today, is to ask you to listen to us, just because, not because we're experts, but we've learned a lot through first-hand information, and um, we, we do our homework, and we, we uh, verify the findings and claims that we make. And I think it's apparent to everyone that this steam generator issue has the potential to be a lot worse than just a little radiation getting into the environment. So in, in the process of learning how things work between the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and Edison, our request to you is the same as it's been to several cities that we've approached in the 50 mile radius from San Onofre, is to let's call for an independent way of evaluating the information instead of having to rely on just the NRC and Edison. I think we, sh we should have a way to have an adjudicated independent review where the public's involved and the uh, investigation data is available to independent experts. So we can really make a decision with confidence and know that we're not rushing into something as uh, part of this process. Thank you.